Oh, I gotta remember my speech. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be even better this time. Okay, all right. Y'all been with us. We back. We here. We live. Okay. Hey, people. <laughs> lonely, very lonely people. Um, we were live on time too, might I add. But um, see what had happened was what had happened was I have a personal <laughs> YouTube account, you know, the personal one, and um, I accidentally went live on that one. So I was like, nobody's here, and I really thought football had everyone's attention, which I was willing to believe that, um, and I was okay with that. But let's see if we can get a few people in here uh, with us. So we can get to this next episode. Yes, yeah, yeah, we got some people Funny. in here. What's going on, Rob Cole? How you doing? Was you first in the building? I think you were. That's what I'm talking about. Let me, uh, <laughs> move this out the way, because I can't even see. Yep, Deborah Wright. Deborah White, how you doing? Man, Rob need... Cole, how you doing? We are here, people. We were live at 4.30, like I was saying just earlier, but... uh. Um, I made a mistake. I went. <laughs> <laughs> I went live on my personal account. And we was talking for a good like 10, 15 minutes before yeah. I finally realized that I thought y'all all was uh, watching the football games. Guava to you at home. Guava to you, Miss Craft. Guava. Well, what less, what's left of it? It was <laughs> hot outside. <laughs> it was hot outside. <laughs> yeah. So Ms. Scrab is doing this beautiful speech. <laughs> but um, if you're doing this with us, I know we got about four entries into the winemaking process. And I know there's a lot of people that's just watching and enjoying us uh, and, and enjoying us while we do this. But uh, we're at the part where we may be doing our first rack off. At the very least, we're going to see what the heck is going on in these containers. As you can see, my bubblers aren't bubbling. My yeast is working. It just never started. I keep it cool in the house. So we're, we're going to figure out, this is a good, if you're in my position, this is a good point to figure out what your next move is going to be, exactly. like what Miss Craft was saying. But um, I'll stop rambling. Let me hop in the chat, make sure no one has any questions before we get started. Hey, Lady Cheryl, how you doing? Oh, hey, you Lady have, Cheryl. Stay for a few minutes, you making candles. YouTube is acting real funny. Hey, hey, Gigi. Hey, Gigi. Uh, Please leave the classes up. I have to delay a bit on starting. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, the classes will be up. The stream, the, the whole thing will exist. Uh, the, the playlist will exist forever. So, yeah. Yeah. And they exist forever. So, yep. no worries about that. Yeah. And this is not going to be the last batch we ever make, so don't worry. <laughs> we'll be next. <laughs> Yeah, we're making clear. Oh my, <laughs> my calculations, I need to make at least 15 batches of wine to make all of this. <laughs> I'm joking. I haven't done the bad. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> but uh we can get our money work, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been I've been eyeing some recipes that I really want to do, and I'm like, oh, I need some of this and I need some of that. Right. <laughs> And, you know, when we get further into winter, because the house tends to stay a lot warmer in the winter, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm going to really start cranking up production for real. Um, yes, yes. I'm going to have a real winter. Like, I can't grow all year round other than on these lights back here. But that's that's pretty boring, to be honest. There's, just, there's no variables going on other than the wind that I throw at it. <laughs> exactly. And no and, bugs. No and bugs. There's no really any bugs. Um, fungus gnats, but that's by my yeah, doing if I do too. that. Yeah. And, you know, have a yeah. few pop in here and there, but, you know, so I'll spend my winter making wine and beer, most likely. We'll see. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all like the shirt, yeah. by the way? You like the shirt? We were talking about my Loving shirt. Loving that shirt. Love, yeah. love, love that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everybody has somebody in their life they can relate. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. We're like, Eco Neighbor, how you doing, brother? Hey, Eco Neighbor. Where's Wifey? Hey, man, that was real cool. That worm tower that you did. Um, 
So I was thinking that worm tower that you did, Eco Nate. Well, you, did you see his video? Did he? I have not yet. I'm so a little he, bit behind. He made this. He called it high rise for his earthworms. I thought it was the coolest thing. He took a PVC pipe. I think it was like a three inch or four inch diameter PVC pipe. Drilled holes in them, right? And then he mm -hmm. dug. He he dug a post hole out. He put it in the ground, mm -hmm. right, right next to his a flower bed in his yard. I know where you. And going the idea for. was to, you know, he fed it, and then you increase your earthworm population. Yeah, so I, I, I liked it. And then he tricked it out. He painted it and put a little solar light on it, so he can <laughs> add some static for the night. It was dope. It was really dope. But I looked at that and I was like, yo, that would be really cool to just have in raised garden beds too, like to drop a pipe like that right, inside right. of your raised garden bed to increase the worm activity inside of your bed specifically, especially if you're yes. in an area that doesn't have a lot of worms yeah. um, naturally. So that was real cool, man. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do my own little swing on it. I'm going to make sure I plug you real good in that video. I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Very Eco, cool. Go check out Eco, man. He's doing cool little nifty things over there with his big old African uh, Black Panther chair he was sitting in. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. It was cool. Oh, oh that's funny. Wakanda forever, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda <of> forever. <laughs> yeah. So let me stop running my mouth. Y'all ready to hop into this? Over I say that's do room? it. Y'all ready to? You say you need to see the worth earthworm tower, James? Yes, you do. Go check him out. Um, Eco neighbor, go check him out. I think it was his second to last video, or maybe it was his most recent. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But go check him out. Uh, it's a good video. You enjoy. It. Let me see. Let me make sure this day on power is on real quick. It was not. Let me turn that back on before everything goes dead in the middle of the session. Um, <laughs> it's like, blip. Where did everybody go? <laughs> <laughs> now we're good. Everything's plugged back in, so we're good. All right. Awesome. 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 Okay, so I'm going to give my speech again. <laughs> <I'm mad. laughs> um, I want to go over where, what we've done so far and where we are now. Um, we created our, our very first meeting was to actually just talk about the highlights of winemaking and the things that go into making it and your tools. The second video, we actually created our must, M-U-S-T. And all that was, was to take your juice, sugar, and your yeast, mix them all up into your original or first primary fermenter, whichever one you want to call it, it's all, all the same, yeah. and uh, let it go to work, okay? So, but the, the liquid that's inside the bucket is called a must, okay? Um, so we took our original gravity reading and got an estimated alcohol by volume percentage um, and we mark those down because those are going to be your starting points to determine as you go through the process what you need to do okay um, for both yeasts that I suggested they're going to finish around 14 15 13 percentage somewhere up in there depending on how powerful the yeast decides to behave um, and we put enough sugar in there to maximize that. So now we're at the point of the process where we're going to test our must, see how much um, the yeast has worked by taking another reading and determine from that, this point what we need to do. Now, here are some of the options. If the yeast has eaten up all the sugars, and I'll explain that when we actually take a reading, what it should look like, then we can rack the must off. And what racking is, is taking the must out of the original fermenter and siphoning it off into a new fermenter, which would be your secondary fermenter, and allowing that yeast to quote unquote rest. It's going to lay down all of the proteins and yeast and let them dry down to the bottom and your wine is going to clarify out and your fermentation will cease. cease. <laughs> um, if we did not um, 
use up all of our sugars in their um, weekend, depending on how close we got to finishing, we could do a couple of things. We can let it stay into in the original fermenter and let it continue on for another week and take another reading. Um, we can stop it as is if it tastes the way you want it and it's cool. <laughs> um, if it's so far off, that it looks like nothing's actually happening with our readings. It's just ticked off a couple of things. That tells us that our yeast has stalled and we need to do some other actions to get it back going. Okay? So um, those are the options that we're at right now. So if you are ready, we are going to uncap our wine and get ready to take a re reading. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Hey, and have, ooh, hey, thank you. Glass. I forgot my tasting glass. Right, yeah, I forgot. Uh oh. Oh, well, yeah, we get the taste of that. Tasting glass. Here we go. Yeah, we need to taste this. So, how's y'all we yeah. doing while we're getting our tasting glasses together? Hey, Lad, how you doing, brother? Hey, Lad. <laughs> That was supposed uh, to say hello, Rob Cole, 100%. Hey, Dolores and Tony, man, that honey, that honey looks good. Oh my goodness, that honey. Y'all whipped it and made it creamy? Mm. I missed something. Oh yeah, so you, Tony and Dolores, they got a lot of land out there. They work um, and they have bees. And oh. They, yeah, they just pulled in their bees. They just pulled in their honey, harvested their honey um, maybe about four or five days ago, or at least that's when the video came out. And okay. y'all did good. Man, y'all did Check that out. Got me jealous over here, man. I have to that's check that out for good. real. Because one of the things that I want to do, I want to venture into the art of making mead. And mead is pretty much the same as wine, sort of, mm -hmm. except that instead of sugar, you're using honey. Right. And <clears throat> I got to end with some folks, you know, we got lead, we got the uh, homestead heart, and now we got the lowest. Oh yeah, we gonna make some meat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, got, you know who else you got? Mr. George got some good honey. Mr. George from uh, uh, my Aunt Linda, New Orleans Garden, TNA. Oh, that's right. That is absolutely right. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's sweet, it's sweet. It's so like the dynamic, in a different honey, we here to talk about wine, but anyway, I know we can. Yeah, but we are putting that on the bucket list. We're gonna abscond some honey from our folks and yeah. make some mead, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started now. now um, I'm gonna review real quick. I'm gonna do my cherry wine here. Yeah, and I'm gonna do and my. Wine cherry mixed with pomegranate okay so um we started on september 13th yes my original gravity was 1110 and that was an estimated abv of 14 percent now this is just a little tip here this is nothing but a sticky note a line sticky note so you can actually monitor um your steps so today i'm going to put on today's date and whatever reading i come up with so it's just to kind of keep you up to date on how your wine is progressing matter of uh, fact one, one thing i should put in on here uh if i was smart was temperature uh the temperature of what like your room your room whatever uh, room you have it in because that kind of gives you an idea of how things are well. which is probably i can't remember why, you know I don't have the extreme bubble action or anything going on, but we, we're about to find out. We're about to find out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, I will. Uh, you want to read um, what you started with? You got your notes? Uh, so I got 11, 11, on well, this one was 1100 flat. Okay. I, I never wrote down the alcohol by volume equivalent of that, but that put me somewhere. What was that? Uh, like 12? Yeah, somewhere up in there. It's going to be 12, between 12 13, and 13. 13. Yeah, right. that's right. not bad. That's actually a nice high 
alcohol wine. <laughs> That's why I'm picking this one. Let's see. This is going to be the most disappointing. Oh, Led, I'm about to check that low quad, by the way. Wish me luck. Check that out. See, see what okay. that air layer looks like. All right. Now we're about to um, pull the lid off of this, and I will warn you, it's going to have a, um, oh, dare. <laughs> An oh dear, <laughs> it's not a bad odor, okay. but it is yeast working. So just be prepared, it's nothing wrong. It's right. nothing wrong. Cool. Just be so do I need ready to for it, okay? So, first? Nope, you can just pop it right off. Okay. Cause you may need to pop it right back on depending on what we discover. Okay. Now I was telling Robert earlier, this is pr the point of the process where some of us are gonna start, whoever's following along, we're going to start deviating a little bit, depending on um, what your readings say. But I'll try to cover all scenarios in this, depending on what we got. Now, if you look in there, you should see bubbles. And it looks like there's like crust around the edge. Yeah, I see that. Yes, that's exactly what you want, you know? And if you're brave enough to go ahead and put your nose down in there and inhale a little bit, get past the funk, you should start smelling some, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that smells like somebody been on the road for a few days. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That means it's working. <laughs> that smells like a, uh, that smells like a three day op. Yeah. When I was out, <laughs> I had to do things and. I'm baby wiping it up, um, using the field wipes. Ooh, yes. yeah. Woo, yeah, that's a, that's, that, that's a smell sound. Woo, that's a smell. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo. Okay. Okay. Now, before, before you actually look at it, what you want to make sure is that nothing went bad. You're going to look for anything that looks like mold. You know, okay. the bubbles are fine. Just sit this for the moment, you saying? Sit this over here to the side. That's fine. This top. Yep. This side. Yep. All right. So are we looking for mold, you say? Yeah. Anything that looks like a fuzzy or anything like that, you don't want any of that. That means something went really, really wrong. But I don't see it in from the picture that you're giving me. It doesn't look like you're. Yeah. It look like you're fine. Okay. Like that going on. I got a little bit of crusty stuff on the edges. But you said yep. That's, that's fine. That's good. You want that? That means your yeast is going to work. Yeah. Um, one thing I didn't forget to mention before we got started. Everything has been sanitized, right? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Hands, buckets, tubes, all of it needs to be sanitized, okay? All right, so from this point, if everything looks okay, we are going to take a reading. Uh-oh. Okay. Hold on, it looks like my internet is doing something. Am I still there? You still see yeah, me? Still here. Yeah. I got you. Okay, now I got a message that my internet was doing something weird. Okay, okay. so now you don't. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and put your thief or your uh, turkey baster in and fill up your tube with your sample. Are we, uh, okay, yeah, all right. You know, I'll be slow sometimes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't expect I didn't expect a lot of y'all to be in here. I figured y'all be watching football. Um, appreciate y'all for coming to hang out with us. Yes, most definitely. Yeah. I know I can hang out because my Steelers won today. Woohoo! There you go. <laughs> there you go. My cousin, um, I had some family come by for the weekend. My cousin, he came. You'll see in my garden video next week, I'm finally give y'all an update on my garden. Listen, I wish I would have recorded more of it, but I was low on time. And I, I I just had to get it done. You know, I yeah. didn't have the time to throw it on the camera because I'm 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 literally trying to eat over here. I, I'm, <laughs> you know, that's my main objective. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, recording wasn't always an option. So. <laughs> I apologize, but I'm gonna bring you up to speed where my garden is right now uh, for the fall. And it looks real good. It looks promising out there. We got some pretty cool things I think you guys are gonna like. I've already been harvesting now. I put, I took a beat out so my aunt could get her taste on and, 
you know, she didn't she didn't think she liked beats either, but uh she left here knowing that she likes my beats. Beats by Ra. Oh, you know what? <laughs> They uh they tried my uh, I made a beat relish uh, I never I didn't record that either because I just got it done with my remainder of my harvest from uh, the spring spring summer yeah and they tried my beat relish yeah, I pretty much started all yeah I had to start all over with mine um, I still have my tomatoes and peppers out there because I want to overwinter my peppers and it's real really not time yet here yeah. um, but I moved some things around I got my collard greens in. I'm about to plant some mustards and, you know, just all the brassica. So I'm, I'm pretty good on that time, right. time frame. Not planting a lot because I, 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 I'm like you. I plan on doing a lot of growing inside. And right. I have the thing right in my face. <laughs> I plan on doing a lot of growing inside. This, so I don't plan on doing a lot outside anyway. So I'm really just uh, planning on getting whatever empty beds I'm going to leave will be, you know, primed and ready to go for spring. You know, right. all right. fed, right. And covered right. and, you know, protected from winter. Yeah, okay. I, have, I have time to be able to do my um my flip so because I'll be okay. I'll be cold turkey for a couple months. Okay. Drop it. All right, so let's drop it in, give it a little spin, and see where we are. Ooh, 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 ooh! ooh I was so close. So I'm getting. I'm not quite it. Zero. I am at zero one zero zero one uh, one zero one zero is where I am. So um, I'm still kind of in that beer category. I got a little bit more to go. Yeah, I'm in the pretty strong in the. Okay, so I'm at one. I'm at one zero one. Point. Oh, we're hitting right about the same spot. Okay. 1.4. I'm in the bear category. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, what we're going to do is calculate where we are right now. And, ooh, I got to remember my math. Hold on a second. Bear with me, y'all. I got to get the right number. I know it's 131 something. Um, you talking about that special formula? Yeah. <laughs> the I one you said, don't ask you what it means. Okay, so in this measurement, I'm at a one point. Come on. Yeah, my internet's acting up, y'all. Forgive me. Four. Yeah, we had a 1.4. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's almost done. All right. I'll tell you that. I just want to know exactly where it is because we may want to stop it. Yeah, right. Like yeah. alcohol by volume. Here we go. Sorry, y'all. Should have had this. I don't know why. See what y'all doing over here. <laughs> okay, what we got? Uh, too much information, sir. <laughs> That's funny. All right, hold on. Wait. Let me go back to the top. Hey, Love Notes. Uh, hey, Braylon. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, Braylon was over here. I um, showed them the worms, showed them the garden. They had a good time. Um, here we go. Uh, Kate Torval. Um, too much information. Functified. Yes, it was. Um, Functified. I understand, Turf. I've been busy too. Uh, Braylon, Braylon, Deborah Wright. Hey, Fr Humphrey, did I miss you? Oh yeah, I did. Just skip right over you. Um, okay. Is that uh, yeah. Deborah White, Paul, Paul Mitchell. Good afternoon. Welcome. We're just getting okay. our readings in. Yeah. All I did, all I did. Um, like I said, I can't find my. I know, and shame on me. I do apologize, y'all. So all I did was bring up an ABV calculator on my phone. You got tons of them out there. there so I'm going to pop in what I started with, <clears throat> which was 1.110. And I am now finished at 1010. And I'm about at 13.13% right now. Mm -hmm. Let's 
Uh, what's today's date? The 21st, 27th, 24th? <laughs> I'll look it up later. <laughs> uh, 27th. 27th. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's 27th. <laughs> okay, so I have a reading of one. This craft is doing it. That's what Sid Love Knows just said. Okay, um, so Robert, just to help you out real quick, let me go to yours and you started with what was your original reading again 1.100 zero, zero. Zero, zero. and you're at um 10 10 now right i'm at 1.4 right 1.004 1. right yeah Ooh, you're definitely done one point Yeah, I'm in the beer area. Right where that four, what is that, four zero? Yeah, four zero. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you're still in the like early. Okay, so 1040. 1040. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, you still got a little ways to go then. That makes more sense. Okay, because you are now at about 7.88%. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. Now this works out perfect. So now we have two scenarios. <clears throat> Mine is pretty much where I would like for it to be almost. It could probably do a little bit more. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and rack off mine. Okay. You still have a little bit to go. You want to be as close to 1.000 as you can get. Okay. All right. So for you, yeah, so for you, I would just leave it alone. I don't okay. Live back on it, let it sit, check it in a week. Okay. Let me I'm gonna check the other one then since we still yeah, here. Sure. Check that one. Can I taste this? Do I wanna taste this? You can. You absolutely can. Do I wanna taste this? <laughs> um it, it won't hurt. It's probably gonna taste like syrup. <laughs> yeah, take a little sample. See how you feel about it. Speed. Now, <clears throat> now, as far as like what's in the taste of the, the beaker, oh, you drank the whole thing. Okay, <laughs> as far as what's in the beaker, um, there are two school, yeah, there are two schools of thought as far as the beaker is concerned, what you have. Some people say, don't ever put it back in the bucket. Oh. Some people are like, as long as you have everything sanitized, it can go back in the bucket. Well, I'm of the school of as long as it's sanitized, you can put it back in the bucket. There is a way of doing it, though. You don't just want to dump it in there. <laughs> you want to pour it slowly so you don't introduce any additional oxygen. You're, you're all right, Robert. You'll be fine. I hope for the best. <laughs> That's what happens when you skip ahead to teach it. We gonna be all right. You gonna be all good. right. That tastes good. Oh, that tastes good. <laughs> and then, okay, since I'm gonna rack mine off, I'm gonna leave the lid off. Matter of fact, I take that back. I'm gonna like put the lid on so things don't fly in there and, and, until we're ready to do it. Okay, now here he goes. Here we go again. He went ahead of the tasting. What you want to do now is to knock some of that carbon dioxide off. That's going to take some of those off flavors out of the way and just mm -hmm. spin it a little bit. You see, I know people have yeah. seen this before. Yeah, I just put a little drop in there. Yeah. 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 That's about all I use as a tasting amount. Okay. With about two ounces. You know. Yeah, I didn't even drink that much though. Yeah. And then you just sniff it. I, I just have a little, little drip drop at the bottom. It's smelling good. I, I didn't <laughs> want to smell mine anymore. Once you knock the carbon dioxide out of there and the other like off off putting gases, uh -huh. you are good. Okay. Because this is pretty much the same thing as when you aerate a bottle of wine anyway. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same exact thing except at the very beginning. So this is the stage of when they say a wine is bean. That means it's very, very young. There's no aging on it. It is what it is, type of thing. 
I don't have nearly as much. Let me bring you up. No, not much. I'm gonna I'm gonna let my let my wine breathe while we while we let you test uh, test your bucket, your second bucket. The second bucket um, doesn't have nearly as many bubbles. Hmm. We think. Oh no! Only way we can find out is to test it. It's got bubbles, but eh, not as many. I don't see any fungus or any, or any mold or anything in there. That's good. Okay. Right. Yep. Maybe yeah, I'm it looks thinking. like there should be more activity in there. We may have to stir it up. But go ahead and take your reading first, and let's see what's going on. Okay, let's take a reading. Let's take this reading. Mm -hmm. And depending on what the reading says, we may even have to pitch more yeast. Well, I'm not opposed to that. I got some right here. Hmm. What the chat talking about? You in the chat, Miss Crab? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it now. <laughs> All right, y'all making the Lord's wedding drink. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Wisdom. That's uh, Eco Neighbor wants to know how did it taste to you? It, it didn't taste bad at all. It, I mean, I could take, you know, it kind of reminded me of the better part of jungle juice. You know, ah. you, <laughs> the better part of jungle juice. I'm pretty sure everybody in here is familiar with some sort of jungle juice. Oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, it didn't taste bad at all. Love notes. Hey, I don't, I don't know if I said hi to you earlier or not. How you doing, lady? I am looking. I'm reading. I'm reading a phone, so I'm not as upset. <laughs> so yeah, what well, I was saying earlier, guys. You know, I keep the house a little cool, um, and I think that has a lot to do with my activity or lack of. What is it? <laughs> to find out how much work is done and maybe pitch some more wine. I mean, some more yeast. Yeah. Which means I might need a jar. Yes. Yeah, definitely with this because um, it has me a little concerned because even where you're finishing now with the other um, bucket, you know, it's been two weeks and you're still kind of in the fermenting area. Um, what do you think? You think something got in here? No, 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 nothing like that. It's just either your, your yeast is stalled or it's sleep or it's, um, it was a bad batch. And it happens, it happens. Okay. No, no panic, it's okay. <laughs> Because oh, if it's a bad batch, we're going to start a fresh one. <laughs> we're going to start a fresh one. Yeah. Give me some juice. I'm going to go ahead and taste mine because it's... Okay. Huh. Okay, it sank pretty good. Yeah. Maybe you just got to work a lot faster because I'm. It may just be done. <laughs> yeah, I'm way closer than uh, than I was on the last one. I'm I'm at a, it's at a one a ten a ten ten. You're at ten ten. Uh huh. My first reading on this was eleven thirty. Okay, eleven thirty. Oops. And ten ten. We're looking at 15.75%, kid. 11.30 and 10.10, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you're good. We're going to rack that puppy. 11.30 <laughs> and 10.10. 10. Yep, you are good. Look at that, see? We over here winning, people. Y'all doubting me. Don't you doubt. <laughs> okay. So Never let, doubt. Let me do this part right there. Never then. doubt. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll talk to the chat. You want to go ahead and get your sample? What's that? You want to go ahead and get your sample? We do it like a nice yeah. Thing. I'm gonna get my sample. So how uh, should I 
Should I pour this slowly back in and then leave what's in the bottom? Um, I would just go ahead and just put you some in a glass right now, however you want to taste it. Okay. I want to rinse this out. I'm going to be right back, y'all. Let me go. Okay. See how much fun we have here? <laughs> <laughs> just family to coming together and making wine. <laughs> Yeah, and it's uh, Love No Tea. He knocked that one out of the park. Over 15%. He's hitting it nicely. Mm -hmm. Aw, thank you, Love Notes. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, that's a good sample. And then I'm going to pour this slowly. Slowly. Do not yeah. introduce oxygen. <laughs> So let me explain what's actually happening in your bucket. When we first made our must together, we actually wanted oxygen in the bucket. And the reason why, which is why we started it, and I mean, like there, there's a couple of things that's happening when you're actually, you know, trying to dissolve your sugar in there. You're introducing oxygen into the liquid so your yeast can wake up and go to work. You know, they need oxygen to get started. Right. All right. And they replace all that sugar and oxygen that they're eating and off gas carbon dioxide and alcohol and a few other little things. But those are the two main ones we need to worry about. Now, because carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, the first thing that's actually going to come out of your, your airlock is the oxygen being pushed out by the carbon dioxide. Then the carbon dioxide is going to come out behind it. That blanket of carbon dioxide that's in that airspace is a good thing. That's actually protecting your wine from bacteria and things like that. Okay, so that's a good thing. Right? Which is why you want to, when you do do things in here, you want to introduce the least amount of oxygen as possible. Make sense? Okay. All right. So, ready to taste? Uh, yeah, let's let's let's. let's did do you it. did you smell it yet? Did you get? Yeah, did I did. You... This one doesn't smell nearly as a uh, um, challenged as the last one. Mm -hmm. It's smelling a lot of alcohol. Yeah, I can smell the alcohol. That's your yep. I, that's all I smell is alcohol, actually. Yep. I don't you... smell any fruit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't smell it. It's all alcohol. I smell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once you actually rack it, that's going to start coming down and you're actually going to start getting your freaks. That's where the aging comes in. Ooh. That's good. It's not, um, it's not overly sweet. That is good. Exactly. That is exactly. good. Yeah, we left enough residual sugar in there for it to have a nice balance to it yeah so the other one the the pomegranate with the black cherry mm -hmm. that is definitely sweeter still but it's got some more work to do mm -hmm. that makes sense this babe come here i know you i know it's a delay so i got wait 20 seconds come here and taste this i know you're gonna get on the camera i know you're not gonna get on the mm -hmm. camera. Look. now remember keep in mind this is not your age stuff this is meant to be right. it's a young table wine and for mine, I get, I use a tart cherry. So when I taste it, I am tasting my cherries in it and I'm getting smacked in the mouth with some alcohol too, but it tastes really good. It's not overly dry at all. This is like really, really good. Nah, yeah, this isn't overly dry at all. Let's see what the missus say. Oh, what you doing? You're not leaving with it. Uh-uh. <laughs> say hi, hubby. <laughs> she was like, all right, I got it, bye. Oh, what's going on, Marcus? Hey, yeah, no, wait, no. come back. Yeah, you get get the get the get Marcus to taste it. See what he thinks. All right. This is the first this is the first out of the bucket. We haven't finished it yet. See what you think. Mm -hmm. What you think? You think it's gonna be really good too, don't you? Wait a minute. Say, say that again, honey. Y'all look kick to it. <laughs> I can't hear you say it again. I said I got a little kick to us. Uh -huh. What what you think? Talk. The people can hear you. Yeah. Tell them the feedback. I think it's really good. Like you said, it's not. Okay. All right. So, uh oh, can you check my cord for me, please? Okay. So, 
Right plug. You winning, Peter. Okay, now he's had, he, my my husband just said something very interesting. Um, I think it's a, I think it's kind of just right as far as the sugars are concerned. He's more of on the sweeter end of things when it comes to wine. He said this is a little dry for him. This is strong. Yeah. That's what I said for him. That's what I said. Everybody's palate is going to be very different. Oh, body is heating up right now. <laughs> There's this, there's this saying in our family. Whenever we come together, it's like where the warm at. <laughs> go. Right here. <laughs> Warmer in here. I'm over here sweating now. Woo. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm a champion right here, y'all. <laughs> I'm excited now. Okay. Okay. Good to go. So our next thing to do would be to wrap this puppy off. Can okay. can you stand? You good? Oh, yeah, we good. Okay. Just, you know, it started kicking in. I was like, ooh, okay. Um, then let me ask you, do you do you really like it exactly where it is? As far as its taste? Mm -hmm. Sugar? Yeah, no, we don't need to do anything with the sugar. It's not yeah. too dry, not too, we're not as overly sweet people. I like, yeah, no, nah, that's why I went with two reds. So I, I like where it's at, but oh, no. let me continue. Hey, Robert, hang tight because it looks like my, my computer's about to die. Oh, okay, so I'm in the try. I'm in. So he's like, you want a sample? You said, wow, that's great turf. Love notes over 15%. Uh, you want a sample right up my alley? I got you, Backwoods Lawn Care. If you there on the premiere, I got you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Backwoods Lawn Care. Oh, she's gone. All right, so she'll be back. <laughs> she'll be back. Her computer died on there. Got me sweating. Yes, Love Notes. It literally has me sweating in here. My grandmother used to make rice wine. I should attempt making wine. This is awesome. Miss Wisdom, is, is it sake? Is that sake that we're referring to? Is that what you're talking about? Sake? We're going to have to delay for four, four, four or five minutes till Miss uh, Miss Craft gets back. Her computer died. But thank you for the. That is a super chat, right? Isn't that a super chat? Yeah. It's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a super chat. Yeah, sorry, my computer died. Be right back. Yep. Y'all make it look easy. I'm going to have to try this. Yeah, so we're going to, um, right now it's already, matter of fact, it's already a playlist. And when we get done with this video, we'll be um, adding this to the playlist as well. The playlist will exist. So as long as the interwebs exist. So <laughs> no worries there. And this isn't going to be our last time doing this, as we said earlier. This isn't our last time doing this. Thank you, Love Notes. Appreciate the donations. All y'all donations that y'all make are going to Miss Craft for this whole series, just to let you know, because um, she's taking the time to do this with us. Homemade wine has that sneak up on you factor, right? It snuck up on me, because I'm sitting here, I'm tasting it, and, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it tastes good. You see, I didn't even finish it. That's how much it snuck up on me so quick. This one right here, this one is not as strong as that one. That that thing right. There. Watch, Quita, did it kick on? It, could did it kick in on you yet, babe? It'll warm you up about five ten degrees real quick, real quick. <laughs> um, James, I agree. Uh, <laughs> you agree? Time to to rack that bucket up. It is. You drinking with me, backwoods? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Guava, everyone. Guava to everyone in the chat. I'll take a sip of this. That heat. That heat with y'all. That is, that is good. It would. Woo! Yes, it did kick in on me. Yeah. What are you starting? What what you starting next? I don't know. What do y'all think I should start? Throw me some ideas. What what's the next blend I should y'all think I should give a try? Oh, okay. Here go, here go, Miss Crab. She coming back in the building. What's the next blend? You think I should try Fr Humphrey? You was eating some lobster and rolling ravioli with wine butter sauce. I'm tipsy. <laughs> Give it a name. You know what? We are going to give it a name. Matter of fact, this is what I want y'all to do. I'm going to let y'all name it. I'm going to, I'm going to take a card out of other few uh, people's books. I'm going to let y'all name it 
start throwing me some names right now. The best one I like, and uh, that's the one I'm gonna go with. All right, so throw me some names for uh, for the one I'm about to rack off right now, and uh, and and and, and we're gonna pick a name for this blend. It's my first first ever blend. What y'all think I should name it? What y'all got? Creativity. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. And the line one. Your camera got flipped for some reason. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Your sounds good. I, with my thought. I want to do something. There we go. Okay, now that, I can hear you. That my sound relish. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my first time. Okay, um, I need a new computer. <laughs> that thing just crashed on me, crashed and burned. I am so so sorry. How embarrassing! <laughs> I like that Mason gone with Mama Major. Uh, we might got a winner. We and him naming this wine. So this is the names that they've submitted. So uh -oh. Backwoods Swish. I like that too. Backwoods Swish. Then they want me to do something with ginger in the flavor uh, in the in the future. See, look at that. That's that's that big on wine. I'm talking. Yeah, ginger sounds good. Ginger um, beer. You can make ginger what's, beer. What's the flavor of the one I'm racking now? This is all tart cherry. Tart black cherry. That's that's what this is. Uh, yes, same with mine. Uh, we got a first time, we got therapy taster, we got that heat, turf berry therapy juice. <laughs> Name it best taste of summer. Okay, hey Sue, you snuck in there on me. I ain't seen you in so long, Suzette. I hope all is well with you. I really do. Okay, Miss Craft. And one. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm trying to get my computer. My computer finally decided to come back. So this way I won't be like, okay, like cool, literally cool. zoomed in your face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, those are some fun names. I like that. Yeah, we're going to pick one before we leave. We sure are. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else we got? Uh, okay. Ginger beer, turf terrian heat. <laughs> terrian heat. <laughs> White wine in the butter sauce. Uh, ginger beer. I love to see you make that one. You know, we might do that ginger beer. I like that idea. I put. Yeah. Some, I, that's the one of the secret ingredients in my uh, beet relish I made. Uh, Sister Sue, yeah. I like that name. Yeah, Sister. It's Sister Sue. Yeah, Sue's that in the <laughs> building. Uh, you're great. <laughs> Yeah, Liz, so okay. we, Bear with me. Yeah. Of honey to make mead. I really want to try, but it, but that is a lot of good honey being burned up. Hey. Yeah, it it takes it takes anywhere from three to five pounds of honey oh, to make a gallon. That's a lot. Make a gallon. I thought the same thing, Leo Farm. A lot of honey to make me um, slow move. Yeah, but the end oh. result. <laughs> <laughs> oh so good oh so turf oh so good cherry madness cherry taste madness the taste the turf <laughs> this is why the kings had me to not the people facts <laughs> yes You're absolutely right You're absolutely oh, right kings had me to not <laughs> that's funny yeah okay. oh okay oh you you almost back okay Look like you about to throw Yeah, I'm just, I, I am so sorry. Um, oh goodness, this thing okay. takes forever to fire up. At least it wasn't my yeah. It was almost going to be. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it was You're still the whole thing with the people. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been able to hang out with the people. Man, that one <laughs> wrong. I don't, yeah, that one is strong. I'm telling you. Oh. This stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now remember this it's going to mellow out. So no no worries on that. 
God is. Oh, I don't need it to mellow out if it don't ever do. I'm not, <laughs> you know, I just treat oh, it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. And yeah, imagine that was only out. just a couple of ounces. Can yeah. you imagine a whole glass? <laughs> yeah. oh, that, you know what? There's a time. So I was in, I'll tell the story real quick once you finish getting set up. So I, we was in Paris. It was, yeah, it was Paris. So I was with Paris. We was with my mom. My mom was there. My aunt was there. My cousin was there. And we went to this French restaurant, of course, because we're in Paris. I don't even know why I said French restaurant. We went to a restaurant because we're in Paris. <laughs> Everything's French. <laughs> but we ordered a bottle of wine. And I don't remember what the name of this bottle of wine was, but I took a picture of it because if I ever find it again, I'm buying like four cases of it, like, just like immediately. We had this one bottle of wine, normal size bottle of wine. Um, and it was one, two, three, four, five of us on this one bottle of wine. We all had one glass. It was really good. We were like, oh, this is delicious. And my aunt, I believe, she was like, yeah, let's get another bottle. And I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and get another bottle. Everybody's about halfway done with their cup. We tell the waiter, we say, hey, yeah, we want another bottle of wine. And um, he was like, uh, mm, I would wait. And I was like, what, what do you mean you would wait? He's like, well, you're only halfway done with your glass. <laughs> Um, you should wait a minute. And then I went and I looked at the alcohol in the back. I don't remember what it was, but I'm glad we took that dude's advice because we finished, we all finished <laughs> our glass in the quarter and everyone was tipsy. It was like, yeah, we don't need another bottle. We're good. Mm, good to go. That's what this wine reminds me of. That's how it's hitting right now. That's how it's hitting. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. That's how you know you got some good stuff. <laughs> you don't need a whole much. <laughs> you make your gallon and you're good. You know, five bottles out of it and it lasts for the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take, okay. All right. So I tell you what, I don't want to keep you guys. Yeah, I don't want to keep you guys hanging on too much longer. Um, because this you thing is inside. taking forever to load up. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do the best I can um to show you what to do next with my phone okay and see if i can see that and all right the computer comes back okay okay wait a minute we may be close hold on you know buff out i'm getting my tools out the sterilizing bucket people. okay there you go there you go all right now as far as getting your siphon ready <clears throat> This is the actual auto siphon here. This is the part that's gonna go in your bucket. You with me? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my pieces. Getting my okay. pieces. So I need this piece, put this in here. Bye. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. And you're going to take one end of your tube and stick it on the other end of this wand here. It's called the racking wand right here. Gotcha. Okay. Right, shove that in there really good. There you go. All right, so it looks like that. Okay. And I think I may be back, so hold on. Gotta sign in real quick. Get rid of that one. How far and then you can let me in. Yeah. Um, doesn't have to go far, long, just long enough so it doesn't pop off. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. All right, and if you bear with me, I'm probably gonna send another notice to say, I'm here. Okay, no <laughs> yeah, so I can go back to my widescreen. I'm so sorry, y'all. This is embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Ain't nobody worried. They in here having a party in the chat. So, hey, <laughs> how you doing? Hey, hello. Who's talking about? <laughs> I don't know who's talking about <laughs> I, I sampled my wine, uh, Linda. Um, <laughs> this stuff is strong. <laughs> it's got me in here about the sweat. Hey, I'm <laughs> oh, man. oh, we were talking about Mr. George. We were talking about Mr. George and his honey oh, that, yeah. that you sent me. That's what we were talking about, possibly making mead in the future, but that's a whole lot of honey for, for a little bit of mead. You know, that's I used to drink mead. a whole lot of it. You need a jug of honey. And then you know what? That's why mead was so daggone expensive. I never knew why it was so expensive. I just thought they was making out like bandits because 
you know, with something different meat, but no, it cost so much money because it was honey in there, all that honey. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, because of the, the, you know, detriment of our bees and what's happening, honey is not as you know, prevalent as it was back then either. Yeah. So that's another element. Oh, you know, so to all of our beekeepers out there, thank you. <laughs> Keep making them so, be. That's why meat is so popular in um in Europe because honey beans are native to Europe, right? Europe and Africa. That's where they yes. do business at. That makes sense. Oh, it all just that's where they are. And I just learned that in my ecology class mm -hmm. for um my master gardeners course I'm in right now. That all yeah. just clicked. How about that? Yeah. Boom. That's cool. And, you know, like I said, we don't have, a, I mean, we have a plethora of bees here in the United States, but, right. I, you know, honey. all of them are endangered, but especially our um, honeybees. Right. 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 Okay. I think I just sent the notice. My prompt should be opening up in just a minute, hopefully. I love y'all. <laughs> you could be cussing. Please don't cuss me out. <laughs> I didn't know, Gigi. And you know what? I'm sorry I've been saying your name wrong for like the past two weeks. My wife, she told me, she was like, you keep saying that CG natural. I'm like, listen, I'm like four feet away from the screen. I, I got CG stuck in my head and that's where it was. So Gigi, good to see you. Did you get your uh, soil sample yet? Your soil kit sampling? When are you taking your master gardening class? I'm in it right now. I'm in it right now, eco neighbor. I'm in that class right now. Yep, um, uh, I just got done with the second module. Uh, I'll be done in about a month and a half. So far, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go live and talk about some of the cool topics um, that I came across. But the best thing about the master gardeners class so far is like the people that I've been meeting. So like there was, was one guy in there, I was talking about patty pan squash and he was like, oh, I can't find patty pan squash seeds anywhere. And I was like, I got you, don't worry. I got plenty of patty pan squash seeds. <laughs> <laughs> and he, was like, oh, you know, he works at this place that um, they had a basil that I've been trying to find and he knows a person that has the basil. So to me, that was the best part about joining the class is the networking with all these different people. And I just got plugged into like 300 gardeners instantaneously in this area wow. nice so you know what i'm gonna be able to grow next year i mean i'm excited about it we're gonna see, we gonna yeah. see. yeah okay yeah okay guys this thing is really stalled out and i i apologize i'm just gonna have to go with what i have on my phone um okay. <clears throat> all right so and can you give me one second to go get my tripod uh -huh. and then i can set my phone up so you can really okay you, you know, know what you bounce out with your phone and come back in and turn it in landscape you can get the widescreen if you want that's what i did with my phone okay so go back if, out if you and want to, come back if you want to you can go get your tripod first though that way you can just do it all at once it's up to you wait a minute wait 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 i think it clicked it's, it's fixed okay wait a minute <laughs> We almost I think there. so. <laughs> That's We're a, almost there. Oh we my goodness. Me enjoying watching me fumble over my words because Miss Crafton got me drunk. <laughs> it's five o'clock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, oh, this is man. terrible. Uh, Gas. I wonder okay. if it's because okay, the already already. Let me scroll. I purchased basil lettuce. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I have some of those seeds. I want to try those next season. I still have my Master Gardener's manual from eight years ago. Like-minded groups are amazing. Facts. Mason gone with Mama, Mama Nature. That's true. Thanks. And then you know what else is cool about the Extension Office and that um, Master Gardener's program? Tony and Dolores, there's some equipment that they used in one of their videos that the Extension Office actually plugged them in with and helped them out. So... You know, everybody's sipping and watching us right now. We're getting entertained right now. <laughs> okay, so let me go back up to okay. me. Okay, I'm going to head out, yeah, I'm head out, get my tripod, and come on back, okay? okay. All right, cool. No worries. So 
The names. Let's get back to the names. All right. So therapy taster. Let me see. All right. I'm going to scroll back up here. Y'all make it look easy. Okay. Love the way you swirl that glass. <laughs> I missed that. Thank you. Uh, what's that? What did you say in the background? Something about background. What's wrong? Oh, your phone just died too? Everybody's stuff dying. I'm usually the one. What's growing in the background? Oh, um, so I got starts back here. Uh, it's actually time for them to go outside and start farming off. Uh, but these were just the sessions, just in cases that I planted. And what we have here is uh, some lettuce. I got some curly kale. I got some late karobi that karobi that I'm gonna try to grow indoors. I got starts outside that's a little further along. I'll throw it outside, baby, too, and just see where it goes. Um, I got Chinese cabbage over here, and then some some more collards as well. That's what's going on here. And then um, uh, tomatoes. So I got these real cool tomato plants. Um, they're called uh, orange hat, orange hat tomato plants, I believe, uh, but they don't get no bigger than this. And they're cherry, this one needs a little support, I think. They're cherry variety like this, and I can grow them indoors all winter. So that's cool. I have a mint cutting. I can't remember what it's called. My brother, he has the name to it. I stole it off his plant before I left. I rooted this. Um, when I got back two weeks ago, it's rooted though, because it's got new growth coming off of it and everything. I got my chocolate mint cuttings that I owe to Miss MB. So I, so the reason why I'm so late on your mint cuttings, Miss MB, is because the wife, on accident, the first ones that I had going, I should have three times the amount. She accidentally knocked the cup over while I was out of town and didn't realize it and then they dried up and died. So these are, the, I just need to drop them in some soil, right? But I'm gonna show y'all how I did this. I'm gonna make a quick video on that. And then I got some uh, culinary, culinary favorite, rosemary. I don't remember the name, but my brother, he has a label, so I get it from him. I rooted these two plants too. These two are rooted. So I'm gonna go in here, split them, up pot them, and uh, just see what they do. So, you know, just little experiments. And then I got rose mint back here as well that I'm rooting. Do I got roots coming? Oh, I got roots coming out of one of them. How about that? Cool. So yeah, rose mint there as well. So those are all my experiments going on over there. So throw those names at me again, people, because I, I can't find it right now. I got a lot going on, <laughs> drunk on two sips of wine. Listen, I'm telling you, this wine is not wine. This is like give me a name send those names at me again please so we can pick one I was in the master gardeners friends in a neighboring county and met a lot of people and learned a lot see yep and that's what I'm, I'm looking to do um I'm trying to steal uh oh Miss Craft let me let her in I'm over here running my mouth I'm trying to steal as much knowledge as possible in the shortest period of time Best of summer. Yeah, best of summer. Okay, we got best of summer. Let me write that down. Best of summer. We're naming the wine. If you weren't in here earlier, I was thinking of names for this wine. I said, y'all, yeah, that backwood swish. I like that. That might be it. That heat, I like that too. But that backwood swish, I like it because, you know, it just sounds cool. It don't sound like that to do with wine, but it sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me okay? Yeah, we can hear you. You got oh, your camera, your camera sideways, though. You're sideways. You said I'm sideways? Mm -hmm. I'm wrong. <laughs> Hold on. That better? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you was trying to put it in, in landscape. Oh. You got to do it before you go into the yeah. room. Yeah, it locks you in. Oh, well, it's no worries. We'll be able to see just fine. We'll be able to. OK, so I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to angle it. That's yeah, you probably won't see me because I need you to see the bucket and what it's doing, OK? OK. All right. Can you see my bucket, OK? 
Uh, I got to switch back over. I'm still in the chat. Let's pause on the names for a minute, people, uh, so I can learn, <laughs> pay attention to the instructor. Y'all distracting me. <laughs> We're going to come back to that, though. But we've been naming this one. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I can see the okay. button. Yeah, I'll, I'll name mine the same because we're making the same wine on that cherry because we're both making tart cherry, so we'll, we'll name it the same. Yeah, there you go. Okay, all right, um, back to business. I am, again, I, I am truly, 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 truly sorry, okay? <laughs> oh, all right, yeah. so to get set up, <clears throat> we're gonna take our second fermenter. Which, is, which has been sanitized, okay? It's been sanitized. We're gonna take, yep. We're gonna take the lid off of our must container and move that to one side. Oops, moved it to the wrong side, sure. but that's okay. Cause this is about to be done anyway. Okay. All right. <clears throat> You're gonna elevate that bucket up because the siphon works on grab by gravity. Okay, so I have it elevated up above the container that it's going into, okay? Gotcha. You're gonna take the end without anything on it, the empty end, and stick it all the way to the bottom of your second container. Gotcha. Okay. All right, you're gonna take the end with the siphon on it and you're gonna put it about halfway, maybe three fourths of the way down. The reason why is because you want to bring in the least amount of leaves into your second fermenter, okay? okay? So you want to leave all as much of the gook down at the bottom to settle down, okay? Yeah, halfway. So halfway to or thirds of the way. And what you're going to do is take this, the, the racking wine and pump it a couple of times to get it going. And then let it do its thing. Well, I need to put this, uh, yeah, I got this clip on. Yeah, I forgot my clip, but. Oh, okay. And now the reason why you have the, the hose all the way down to the bottom is because you, again, it's about the oxygen. Right. Look at this, y'all. This is dope, look at this. Isn't this cool? <laughs> this is so cool, right? Look at that. Hold on, let me get a little more. I know my phone charge because it's been on the charge the whole time. Look at that. That is so cool. It's filling up quick too. Yep. <laughs> my wine had a lot of carbon dioxide in it. So you may get some air bubbles in there. From time to time, you just gotta have to pay attention to it as you're pumping through. But yeah. And, yeah, the, and the higher, the higher you're able to go, the faster it'll go. And if I, I think I may wanna go ahead and put another um, pot underneath this. Let's get mine going. Oh yeah, that really kicked up. It's booking. It's booking. This, this bottle of siphon is money, y'all. Uh. Look at that. Look at that gold. That is cool. All right, let me jump over in the chat. Let me see. Let me finish. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a sneak over here and check out some of these names. I drank my beaker test. Uh, the temperature is everything when I make wine. That's why I don't like making it in the winter months anymore. Why? Because you're, it, I was thinking the winter would be better since it'd be um, warmer. Cherry Rush. So we got a Cherry Rush. It really depends on what kind of wine you're making. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Tipsy if you're making like fresh fruit, Wine because it takes so much more effort on the behalf of the yeast, you really don't want to do that in the winter. You want to do it more in the um, late spring, early summer, and and um, use the heat from that. Um, oops, that's why I was having a problem. I'm sweating a little bit, Gigi. <laughs> 
Look at this. Summer breeze. Tipsy turn. Backward swish. I like Cherry Rush too. I do like Cherry Rush. You like Cherry Rush, babe? That Cherry Rush. We might got one. What you think Rush about Cherry Rush? Rush? What you think about Cherry Rush, Miss Cry? I kind of dig that. I dig it. I'm gonna use that backwoods swish on something though. Backwoods swish. I might put that in the video. <laughs> that was dope. Winter warmer, he's drunk. No, I mean your house is warmer. <laughs> like you keep your home warmer in the winter, backwoods long care. You came for me though. That's funny. <laughs> Cause you got the heat on. So that's what I was thinking, that it would be the better time to do it. But I am a little tipsy. I, I sure am. But that's what I mean. That's funny. <laughs> It wasn't even a full glass of wine. <laughs> Listen, it was it was strong. So um, as I get, wh what's going to happen with the bottom that's not getting sucked sucked up, siphoned out? Um, you can do one of two things with it, okay? Because you are going to get to get used to the idea of leaving wine behind, okay? Because yeah. you don't want you don't want any of the particles that are floating around to be in your wine okay so what's going to be left in the bottle is like again it's going to be uh, particles and old yeast and things like that um you can drain off as much of the uh, wine as you possibly can and you can either chuck it into your garden if you want to because there's nothing wrong with it uh -huh. um you can chuck it in the toilet if you want to or you can bottle it up and use it to make another make another um, gallon of wine. I know a lot of people will reuse their leak their yeast. Does this look about it's right like, for the amount? Uh, hold on in one second. I'm trying to get the yeah. last little bit of mine. I'll wait. Okay. Oh yeah. Matter of fact, I didn't leave much leaves at all. That's good. Okay. Now what you can do, and it probably would take two hands to do it. I'm gonna to try to do it by myself. You just kind of tilt the bottle, excuse me, tilt the bucket a little bit to get the last of it. So I okay. Because again, you don't want the junk to come in. You just want the liquid. See how much is left in this bucket? Should I go any further than this? Why should you do a change? Uh, I can't see. There's a line right here. Oh yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay, so just leave that in there? Yeah. And that's how much I got. I mean, if you can get more out of it to fill your jar up, you know, okay. do that. Right. Let me but let me get a little, say, based on mine, it's not leaving a lot of it's not leaving a lot of lease in here. So oh shit. Ah! <laughs> man down, man down. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not gonna be putting any more in. <laughs> okay. Wine everywhere. Why are you just having one? a day? Who drinks me? <laughs> Well, not putting no more of mine either. <laughs> Who's that? You ain't even helping me. You over here watching me mess up. Trust. What'd you do? Nah, the, the hose came out. So I don't know. That's what happened to me. Oh, that's what happened to me. <laughs> mine just came out. <laughs> that's funny. I know they are cracking up in the chat room right now. Okay. All right. Huh? You said I've been oh my up goodness. I know where I gotta go to work tomorrow. And <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and leave that in there. Um, and I'm glad my first reaction to not stick it back in there was the better reaction. <laughs> yes, don't put it back in. It's too late. It's gone. Yeah, it's too late. Right? Yeah. I thought I put some some uh, papers down now because I got it everywhere. That <laughs> gun that was a glass. <laughs> I'm feeling the same kind of oh, way. Oh my goodness. Don't you just love going live? 
Yeah. <laughs> Raw and uncut. <laughs> I know I ain't letting all this go the way. There we go. Okay, boom. Yeah, we're gonna drink. That's go. gonna be a uh uh an after show cap right there. We're there gonna, you go. We're gonna leave that alone. You know, I drink there that. We might go. not finish this video. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting right there for now. Okay. okay. I'm almost for cleaning up. Give me a second. Yeah, no, you're good. Take your time. So I'm going. So you said with this bottom portion, I can. Uh, let me let you finish and then we'll talk about that. Later. Yeah, and then we can really talk about it because I was kind of talking off the top of my head. There's a couple of things you can do with what's, what's left. Right. It's not important. Man, no clock on it right now. Move that out the way. I'm just going to sit this over here. So we All can... righty. Let me wash my hands. Boom. Boom. Let me hop over in the chat and see how hard they laughing at us. <laughs> Somebody's getting high on their own supply. That is funny. Uh, while both of them hoses dropped at the same time. That was hilarious. Hold over for a second. Uh, what you doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> Land Farmer got a dick. To make one of the is cool, right? That's what I was thinking. Uh, okay, lady five and left. I live in the building. Um, okay. y'all make me want to start a badge right now. <laughs> Do it. Who is that? Hey, Nadine, how you doing? Nadine said that's Lay. Lay said he wanted to uh, start a badge right now. So, the stars that I got out there, <laughs> they came from her. Came from Come Nadine. on, Lay. Uh, Nadine's the reason why them zoom okay. jumping so hard this season. It's beautiful. Um, these things tend to happen to me as well, so I can really appreciate the real life aspect of trying a new project. The first times always have hiccups and take longer. <laughs> yeah. Yes, a, yes. Do yes. you get used to the process? See, and, and whoever said that is absolutely so right because right now I'd have been like, you know, ding, 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 and I have to remember to stop because I'm teaching somebody, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And um, then you were like, okay, did I miss a step? You know, cause right now it's just like a um, remote control for me to do this. You know what I mean? So, so all right. Uh, so you got Humphrey, your, you got we your- question. We got a question real quick. Okay. F.R. Yeah. Humphrey says, how do, hey, you FR. Know, how do you know when to stop? And I'm assuming he's not talking about drinking because you should stop drinking when you are finished <laughs> standing. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's talking about the siphon process. Um, and yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's it. What you got for me? Yeah. You want to get as much of your wine into your secondary carboy or, or, or fermenter as you can. Now, there is a little bit of headspace in here, which is not terrible, not ideal, but not terrible. Um, you want to size your container for the amount of wine that you're producing. So, um, like I said, my siphon jumped out of the bucket before I was able to get any more out of here, and I didn't want to go resanitize it, so I just stopped. <laughs> and I got a fair amount of uh, wine left back in my bucket here um, that I'm probably going to enjoy a little bit later. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's pretty much it. You want to get as much wine into your container as you possibly can. Oh. It kind of brings me to the next step. Remember, the ingredients for vinegar is alcohol and oxygen. Okay, mm -hmm. we are need, we need to keep as much of the oxygen out, but we also want to get as much of the quote unquote funk out of this as we can. Get rid of all that those extra off putting things that we smelled earlier. Now, remember, carbon dioxide and some of these other off gases are heavier than oxygen. So what's gonna happen, we're gonna do a step now that's called degassing. And what's gonna happen is that you're gonna stir this up, stir this up, and all this extra carbon dioxide is gonna come out and it's gonna push the oxygen out first and leave a blanket of carbon dioxide on the top. Make sense? Yes. Yes, no? Yes, yes. okay. So this is what we're gonna do now, you can use I was waiting for the audience to, re to respond yes. I don't know why. Don't judge me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All 
<laughs> okay, so now, now you see why we put down towels and things like that too, because uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it can get messy. Yeah, it looks messy. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stir this. Now you can either use a degassing wand, which I think Robert purchased. Yep. And I'm gonna do the, you know, the muscular way of doing this. I'm just gonna use a spoon, okay? Now you're gonna, now with the degassing wand, you're just gonna put it on your power drill, put it in there, let it foam up a little bit and knock some of the gases off. With the spoon, you're gonna do a couple of times clockwise, a couple of times counterclockwise and keep going back and forth until you get some of the bubbles out of that, okay? So let's do it. Put this all the way to the bottom. Yeah. And I'm gonna bring you in close, if you can see. See all that? Those bubbles there? That's what we're trying to knock off. Now, don't be afraid if you don't get a lot of bubbles. Usually the longer you let a, a wine ferment, the more of the gases come off by themselves, but because this is like a young wine and it's only been sent for two weeks, we're trying to knock some of this gas out on our own. And we go back the other way. Okay. Okay, and you don't have to do it very long. Like I said, we're just knocking some of the gas off. Yeah, I think, I think, I think I'm good. Y'all think I'm good? I think you're good. All right. Now we're going to take our sanitized top, put it on, take our airlock that has the sanitation water in it or um, alcohol, like vodka or something like that, and stick it in here. Okay. And you are good to go. Now what's gonna happen here, if you can look, I, I don't know if you see, you, you can't see my hand back here, right? This is gonna have all the leftover yeast that's kind of like was suspended in here and the, and the proteins that were suspended in here. And if you were making a fruit wine, any of the uh, pectin and pulp and all of that that was sitting, and this is gonna settle down to the bottom. Hey, watch this. I don't know if you saw it or not. Matter of fact, you should start getting some bubbling action too. Look at that. Oh, now you're not gonna show off. Come <laughs> Come on. I see it, there it is. There it is. You should get some bubbling action now because one, there's less head space and two, we've actually whipped up some of that carbon dioxide that's gonna start moving stuff around. Water off of here. I think it's too much water in the airlock. Oh yeah, you definitely don't want too much water. Yes. You want it at that max line or lower because it will not, it, it will be too heavy for it to move the, for the gas to move it around. <clears throat> now, while I'm here, I'm going to show you what you want your wine to look like. I'm going to show you the difference um, from uh, ready wine to a finished one. Oh, yo, mine bubbling. I just saw it shift. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. You see this here? Yes. This is a pineapple mango I made several months ago. Oops. Okay. That gone phone. Okay. All right. See how clear that is? You can see my hand through that. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. But I also want you to look at the very bottom. You see all that? That cake down there? Yeah. That's old dead yeast and protein and stuff like that. Okay. This is what this is the step that we're doing now. We're waiting for that to clear out. Now, it can take a week, it can take a month, it can take, you know, <laughs> a while. <laughs> um, you pretty much, this is pretty much to your liking. Like I said, right now, at this point, you have drinkable wine. You can drink it if you want to. Oh, I know. Now it's just trying to get it to be pretty. Yeah. Now you're just trying to get it to be pretty. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, it's uh, right, it's about to start. All the all the water gonna shift out of the end that's closest to the. Uh, but yeah, this gonna be bubbling by the night probably. I finally get some. Yes, bubbles. yes, knocking all that gas off. Okay. Yeah. Um. Now, keep in mind, we did not 
put the yeast to sleep and we did not kill the yeast. So that what we did was reduce the colony of yeast that was in our in our brew. Okay. Um, all right. Now this is kind of the way they used to do it a long time ago. Um, if your if your wine finished out, that means that it, there's no more sugars left for it to to eat up. You know your wine is done. You got it where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Now because we do have some residual sugar in here and did not get back to uh, back to zero. Right. And we do have a little bit of yeast in here. It's probably going to like continue to ferment a little bit. So in about another week, we're going to come in and take one more reading. That's going to be our final reading. Okay. Now, if we were doing like an aged wine or fruit wine, um, I probably would take two readings a week apart just to make sure it was done. But because this is juice and I kind of have a good general idea of where we want to be and how we want to be, I'm, I'm calling it done. So we don't have to do another reading. Um, but um, like I said, we want to get last of this gas off. We want to get the last of the, the sugars gone and um, let this settle down. So that's where we are now. And I'm thinking we can come back, let's say two weeks. Two weeks? two weeks and give our final reading. Yep, get our final reading and um, I'll show you how to bottle this. Okay. I'll show you how to back sweeten it if it's not sweet enough for some people. Okay. <clears throat> and we will also um, ask for those final readings for anybody that wants to be in the contest. Yep. Yep, in the contest, when we're done with this, uh, it's a good segue into it. The contest, when we host, hold that contest, is going to happen on Miss Craft's channel with our Yes, special I finally got my live working, y'all. And a live working <laughs> for uh, the Zoom, and we're going to have our special guests along with the contesters. They'll, they'll get an invite to hop on the Zoom as well um, if they want to. If they don't want to, we understand it's no big deal. Um, yeah, but yeah, we'll be doing okay. it. Let me, let me, yeah, let me, let me, sit, let me, um, go into detail. Cause I was kind of vague about what the contest really is besides being on the zoom. Um, we're going to be testing each other's wine now because Robert is brand spanking new to this. And I'm guessing the two people that, you know, are lucky enough to be, um, brought in are also going to be relatively new. We're going to let you three compete. And our uh, guest, our guest wine taster is going to be assigning a bronze, silver, and gold medal. Yeah. All right. So the heat is on. So now's the time where you can Bring it. test it, you can taste it, you can get it to where you want it to be. And I'll give them more details on how to you know, get the samples out and all that when we actually pick the winners. Um, but yeah, this is bring your A game because A the person that I'm asking to do a test for us knows his stuff. <laughs> I already let it out the bag. It was the guy anyways earlier, but the guy that I have been tested to taste this wine knows his stuff. So he will be honest and fair with the three entries, okay? And we're going to get, and you know, there'll be some other things to go with it, but bronze, silver, and gold. Who's going to walk away with the gold? Me, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, you know, wine series and dominate me? That's, no. <laughs> me. I'm going to well, let's put it this way. Even let's if I don't way, win, if our taste I won actually because technically you learn from watching me. So it's a win either way, as far as I'm concerned. There There's you no go. I'm I'm there you go. <laughs> so yeah, so not only not only would the taste tester, you know, be the one to kind of get the final say, but I'll be, you know, putting my two cents in as well. We'll probably do that, you know, one through ten kind of thing, <laughs> raising yeah. our thing. Yeah. I'm still thinking that part. <laughs> you may but, uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, so there, there will be prizes besides the medals. So 
you know, bring your A game and you hopefully, yeah. you know, you get chosen and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to taste this stuff and uh, see, see, see how we're doing. You got another donation, enough time to create a label, Backwoods Swish. <laughs> you, got Swish, the, Swish. They, 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 you know what, Backwoods, I'm going to name my uh, blended one over here that's got weird stuff. It's the pomegranate one. That's going to be Backwoods Swish. Thank you so much for the donation. But we're going to name this one. We're going with Cherry Rush. I think me and Miss Crab. Cherry Rush. Okay. We're going to go got, with Cherry you Rush. Got, you got... Yeah, you have turf cherry rush and you have Miss Craft cherry rush. Yeah. Both use the same juice. Yeah, so. turf cherry yeah, fact, rush. I'll put that on there now. Cherry rush. Oh, thank you. Hey, Aiden, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? It's been a while. Uh, but Miss Craft, these people, they throwing you all this money. I told them all the money that comes in today goes to you. For all of these, it goes to you because um, you took the time. Oh. To see the <laughs> so I'll count thank up. you, fam. Like you two <laughs> take his 30% and then... Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, really. But thank you, yes, fam. I, I do appreciate that. I mean, I'm working really hard to trying to get my subscription up, oh. you know, my subscribers up, you know, yeah. about not quite halfway there to, to get into the game. So whoever is already subscribed to my channel, I do appreciate you. I really do. Thank you for all the love in the world. Um, but I need just a few more. <laughs> just a few more. <laughs> So Dolores and Tony's channel, they have a question. They said, uh, can you add spices to wine? And I'll go ahead and give you a uh, blum notes as well. To her says, Miss Craft, can you add spices to the wine? Dolores and Tony channel. Oh, she was just asking for them. Never mind. Boom. Yes, absolutely you can. Um, and I need some tape because this thing just wants to act. I'm just having a day today. <laughs> But yes, you can, depending on what kind of wine that you are producing. Um, you don't want to over spice your wine. Um, you probably want to do that at the very bitter end. And the reason why, because spices can you know, become bitter in your wine. Um, I know Lead Farmer is famous for his apple pie and he just puts a stick of cinnamon in his final bottle and let it age that way. Um, you really don't want to ferment with the spice unless it's the recipe for it. Because again, it can get kind of weird. But at the very bitter end, absolutely, when you're trying to flavor it up and build your profile, absolutely. Yeah. Matter of fact, there's, a, there's another wine that I want to try and it's a pepper wine. So that's a spice. <laughs> Can't get any more spicier than that. Um, <laughs> but it takes a very, very small amount of uh, pepper to create the whole whole bottle so yeah right right so i got a it's fr humphrey said turf you have an empty bucket what's next so y'all gave me some pretty cool ideas i like the ginger thing um i'm gonna go look up some juices i tell you what this one i'm gonna do i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to the store i'm gonna take some pictures of some juices and i'm gonna do it on my community post we're gonna have a vote and i'm gonna show you the options and you'll vote in my community thread of what I'm gonna throw in here in the next week. Um, is well, that before you do that, Robert, let me ask this question of you. Um, are you interested in learning on how to use whole fruit? Yeah. Okay, because I said we can we can do that next if you want to keep this thing going. Okay, well, yeah, let's do, I'm gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna do that then. We're gonna do some fruit. So boom, there it is. We're gonna do some fruit. Too okay. Um, <laughs> yep. All you need, all you need is some frozen fruit, whatever flavor you want, and we can make this go. Matter of fact, that that um, pineapple mango that I showed you, that was made from frozen fruit. Pineapple mango. I like that. Sounds good. That sounds good, babe. What is that? I was I was checking in with the wife to see if uh, she she liked that blend. We're going. We'll, we'll go through the store. Does it? What are the stipulations on it? Um, they telling me to back away from the glass. Oh, so the wine taste. <laughs> so the wine, what's that? Uh, Miss Crab, insert your YouTube channel in live so they can subscribe. Yeah, drop a link. Babe, can you drop a link for her channel? Is your phone charged up yet? That'd be great. Slowly back away from the glass turf, GG Nationals. <laughs> Backwoods and he's uh, be subscribing. He said, send me a bottle of that Backwoods Swish. I'll put it in the video. Will do. Backwoods, I didn't know you was an actual channel. I'm gonna go check you out, man. I'm gonna go check your content out this evening for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'll yes, get you please. Away. Um, he says he's gonna subscribe to you too, Miss Craft. 
Uh, Thank right. you. Listen, I'm tired of y'all coming for me about this dang on wine. Tell me to step away from the <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, Robert, they're just jealous. They just hey, jealous. I just jealous. They don't mind. Pineapple mango wine sounds good. It does sound good. Yeah, it's a dope chip. It is delicious. Yeah. It is very light and it's very refreshing. And I actually have two um, gallons going. One, I'm going to make a still wine. The other one, I'm going to make sparkling. Nice. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to do that. See, listen, I did step away from the wine, just so y'all know. This is that, uh, what we call this, this turf cherry rush. That's that cherry rush. They rush through your veins. <laughs> <laughs> This is, we will say this for later when we done here. Um, yeah. Um, but uh, this is this is something a lot lighter. Um, that's why I switched to this and I'm sipping water. So thank you. I appreciate y'all. Y'all see yeah. these bubbles though? It's been bubbling. It's going nuts, right? It's yeah, going it's nuts. going nuts. <laughs> yep, because you um, lock some of that stuff loose. I'll just make okay, you so, um, I'll watch first video for supplies needed. Yeah, so um, if you go to the playlist, the first video talks about the supplies you need. If you want, you can just go to the link and follow it. It takes you to Amazon. And then the next video, I tell you that each video tells you which steps, I mean, what tools you need for each process. So I'll go back to this video in the next day or so, and I'll update the description info for this video as well. So. Yeah. And I'm also thinking, Robert, that um, right about now, if you've been following along with us since the beginning, um, and you're tagging along within the next two weeks, you should have a final gravity reading just like we did ours today. Um, and you should pop it into this video. So yes, when we come back in two weeks, we can make the selection on who's gonna go you know, the rest of the way with us. Yeah, who's it gonna be? Who's coming with me, man? That's right, who's, who's, going, who's going up me? against the turf? <laughs> who's coming with me, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's that Dave Chappelle movie, right? When he got fired and he walking out the place. <laughs> that, that random little girl. <laughs> what is your name? Go with me, man. This is like right here and I can't think of it. It's a Dave Chappelle movie. Oh, wow. Backwoods, yeah. man. I appreciate that, man. People subscribing to Miss Craft. Link is up above. Loving this streams. Are we related? Thank you. Thank you. We are you. related Thank to you. Gardner. We are related yeah. to Gardner. That's what it yes. is. Now we're not blood related. I've never met Miss Craft other than like this, right? <laughs> In yeah. Hour. We had a six hour conversation on Zoom. That was fun. Um, that was fun. But, we had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> but no, not related. We family. Exactly. Love those. <laughs> nope, we not related, but we family. Boom. That's it. That's it. That's the way. So uh, I am, I'm always open up you know, to suggestions. Like I said, the primary focus of my, my channel is anything garden related. Um, I do a few cooking um, videos, uh, walking videos. Uh, my main focus that's coming up, especially now with winter coming, is going to be cracky style of um, hydroponics inside so we can grow in the winter. Um, there's also going to be some indoor growing as well of some other. So yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> Yeah. You know? And uh, we have a little fun along the way with like with my friends here. Yeah, yeah. So and then pretty I'm pretty much lined up to do the same thing. I'll be closing out my fall garden here in the next 45 days, most likely. You'll see me do one giant harvest, maybe a small harvest along the way as well. And then that'll pretty much be it for me, unless I don't know if it stays like it was last year. I probably can keep growing all the way up until December. So we'll see. Um, but I know when January, February gets here, it's going to be done for oh, me. Oh, yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah, right. past so December. I'm just saying, still be out past there. December. Garlic. Yeah, the garlic could be out there, but that that's that's going to be about it. And I don't even, I'll put the Same garlic here. in next month. So garlic, I haven't even dropped yep. my garlic yet. But I'll still come up with creative things to keep you guys entertained um, throughout the winter. I'll probably slow down a bit, you know, take, the, take that off time, take advantage of that off time. For sure, but before we got out of here, I, I I know we got we got the name for the we got the name for our wine. Let's talk about this one more time before we let these people these let, let people go. Um, about what we can yes. do with the remainder that's in this container. 
Half baked. Okay. That's the so movie. See, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I don't know if you can see down in here. I, I mean, I got a lot left because I dropped my my stipend. But what's up, you can Drink it. <laughs> you can drink it if you want to. Um, you can dump it in your garden if you want to. It's just yeast in uh, fermented. Um, like any other thing that gets fermented, like your banana leaves and all that, it's just ferment, fermented liquid and right. plant. So you put it in your garden if you want to, or if you have enough of the, I don't know if you can really see, I'm gonna see if I can get in it. See that kind of chalky stuff up there? That's all good yeast. Um, mm. And you can actually start another bucket of wine if you wanted to on top of this. Mm. So those are the things that you can do with this or chuck it. <laughs> The only thing you want to be concerned about is when you're actually racking off to leave as much of the junk behind because that's less stuff that needs to fall down through here. Right, right. That's the only thing. I think I'm going to rack this off into, I know what I'm going to do. This not going to waste. Nah, this not no. <laughs> so, yeah, so, and again, like I said, you want to try to get as much, you know, filled up as you possibly can. Um, but that blanket of carbon dioxide that's building up in here, you're good to go. Don't worry about it, about it too much if you don't get it full. Yeah. Okay, I mean, don't get me wrong. You don't want it like halfway. That's right. not what you want. <laughs> right. right. You want your yeah. You want you want your uh, second fermenter to take as much liquid as you have to put in it. Right. And it looks like I'm pretty good, even though I didn't fill this all the way up. It started off gassing immediately. Um, immediately. We threw that airlock on, all the water pushed out, and she's been bubbling. Y'all been watching her bubble over here to the side the whole time, so. Yep. Let me hop back yep. in the chat, see if we got any so, questions. Yep, so uh, you're gonna put this nice, pretty much in the same area that you had the last one in, and uh, let it do its thing. And we'll come back, and hopefully you should be able to see your hand through it. <laughs> you said I'm sweating. No, that, I'm not sweating. That's that oil, that's that, um. Um. That's them juice <laughs> the berries. That's all I have in that light. See, I got the studio light on me. I'm not sweating anymore. We done balance back out. I'm shiny. That's what she's telling me. I'm shiny. Yeah, no, I'm not sweating anymore. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> some of the gas out of here, and I'm about to let this go. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like to waste nothing. Yeah, I'm not wasting this. No, we're not. It's just money, and this is quality content. Man, I appreciate the support, Backwoods, Lawn Care. Those donations will be going to Miss Craft. Uh, Thank you, Miss Guava. You go, neighbor. But yeah, I mean, if here. you see that, this is yeah. Let me show you. This is towards the bottom of it. See how cloudy that is? Right. Yeah, that's just you nothing. Said but wine is in oil. You silly. <laughs> yeah, I see how cloudy that is. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, cloudy. that's just the old yeast that's in here. So yeah, right. I mean, and I still had a lot left, you know. But that's right. because I, I was had, I, had it, pretty, it around. I was gonna be able to fill yeah. mine up. Because once I looked into it, um, let, me, let me bring y'all over here. There's a good bit left. And what I'm going to do is I'm a turkey baste it off. Yep. Right. And yep. then let it, yeah, let it I'm sit a, for a little bit. Let some of that leaves sit on down and you turkey baste it off and put it in a bottle and you're good to go. Right. That's what I'm going to do. Or drink it. Yeah. That's or drink it. <laughs> uh, said, Led said that we need to pick a flavor and he will make it oh what kind of flavor? Oh. he's gonna make a flavor he's gonna throw a batch on tonight what you thinking what we want you know what i've been on a blueberry click for Ooh, a while i like that yeah let's do blueberry, blueberry wine like yeah blueberry that's what we picking that's what we picking miss craft I like the idea. Yeah, blueberry. Blueberry it is. That's what we're picking. We're picking blueberry, blueberry wine. That's what it is. What do you say, Led? <laughs> the collabs are awesome. Appreciate you popping in, Marcus. I know you're a busy man over there. Ask me what I'm doing in the kitchen. When Lady Leia asked me what I'm doing in the kitchen, I'm, I hate saying I'm racking off. <laughs> she always say that. <laughs> <laughs> that is too much. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on. I'm racking off, baby. All right. I'll be right there. 
<laughs> like, I can uh, uh he had a video on purifying water. That's that's a life, that's a life saving skill. Y'all better yes. for you people who don't like other people in your business, but you don't know how to take care of yourself, basic stuff like purifying water. You might want to know how to do that before you go hide in the corner somewhere. He said, I yes. am boom. We're yes. in it. Drop that Miss Craft yep. link again. Boom, Aiden on it. That's what I'm talking about, Aiden. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's my thank you, Aiden. Man. Aiden, y'all go check out Aiden. That is the that's the hardest working. Ah, I'll be messing his age up. Listen, he's a pre, he's a he's a teen, he's a young teenager, but he's out there doing it. I'm not gonna put his business out there, but listen, the young man uh, is very successful uh entrepreneur. He already is, and he will continue to be for the rest of his life with the kind of drive he has. He has a cool little dude. Okay. Now now I need to I need to say something to Aiden. Aiden, if you are not of age, yeah, no, he's not of age. don't do this. Hey, not doing this. this is adult. Don't have anybody come knocking yeah. on my door. Yeah. Yeah, you just hear the mod. You're definitely not doing this. But his mom, she's cool people too. I've met his mom. She doesn't mind. Yeah, he's learning. He's learning. So when on his 21 birthday, what you what you gonna do, Aiden? Is three months there out you from go. your birthday, we gonna start brewing up some wine. If we still in contact, we are gonna brew you up. We are gonna do a batch together, and then only there you go. Afterwards, we'll 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 take a sip. Hopefully, we can take a sip together. How about that? Yeah, I we'll like that idea. To swap out if we no longer co-located. That yeah. is very, very cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do, Aiden. Yeah. Amen. So, do we got any more questions? Are we good? Yeah, I think we're good. No more questions. They just out there clowning, laughing at us, having a good time. I'm good. glad you had a good time, man. Because listen, I went live the first time. I went, I went live on my personal account. And nobody showed up. I was like, oh, I guess everybody's watching football. Anyway, we're going to do this anyway. <laughs> and then, and then Rob was like, I'm crazy. I want to taste my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we was ready to go. I was like, well, they'll, they'll watch it again later. That's what we said. So, um, um, and then halfway through that, my wife, she was like, I never got a notification. You're not live. And then my mom said, you wasn't live. And I was like, oh, that's because I went live on my personal YouTube, <laughs> my personal YouTube account. And then we had to cancel, then we came back in. Then, um, uh, hey, yeah, it, it, you know, we had a good time today. It was a good Sunday. It was a good Sunday. Yeah. Then Miss Craft Computer died. Okay, okay so just to, yeah, just to quickly recap. Yeah, let's recap. What we're walking here. away with. Um, we're going to come back in two weeks. Two weeks. Between that time, you are more than welcome to take a reading and see how this is doing. Um, and uh, but our uh, we're gonna call it done in two weeks. And I'm gonna show you how to bottle this and how to uh, back sweeten it if you if you want to. You know, again, this is by your palate, but I want to show you how to do it. Um, we're also gonna put it to sleep. Um, like I said, uh, there are ways to do it without any chemicals, anything like that. But with this being the first time that you're doing this, I want it to be right. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go the, the chemical route this time around, the potassium sorbate. Yeah, so it, it, it's not unnatural. Don't, don't get me wrong, it's, it's just a preservative. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put the yeast to sleep and let it, you know, say no, no more, eating no more sugars. We're gonna show you how to back sweeten it if you want to and bottle this up, okay? Um, then um, also, if within the two weeks, if you are following along and you want to be a part of the contest, uh, make sure you put your hashtag myfg and your reading on this video. Comment on this video. All right. You, like, so you don't have to do it today, but by the time the two weeks is up, we need to have it because we're going to pick a winner on the next video. Okay. Uh, oh, and um, we're going to make a uh, whole fruit wine. And I think the fruit we said was going to be blueberry. Yeah, we're doing blueberry. We all going to do blueberry. <laughs> Lad doing blueberry. We're going to do blueberry. Yeah, it's going, that's what's going in here, FR Humphrey. Blueberry. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, now it's going to be, now this is going to be a sophomore type of brew because now we're dealing with 
whole fruits and pectin and a couple other little things oh. that we need to take into account. You, um, saw my, you saw my readings, right? Yeah. Yes. I yep, I got you. Um, yeah, you hit about 15% on that one and 13% on the other. I think it was that. So I think you said you're going to let the other one cook a little longer. Yeah, we're going to let her cook. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're going to we're going to roll with this one here. Yeah. And, and I am about 13.3%. That's a nice drinking wine for me here. Yeah. Um, it's probably going to go up a little bit more because, like I said, I did not put it to sleep and it's not at uh, dry. Um, but I did knock a lot of the yeast in the bucket. So it's going to slow it down, you know, tremendously. So yeah. it may go up a little bit more. Okay. Um, all right. Um, Oh, but as far as like uh, fruit wine and all that, uh, where I said not to stir, we're going to have to stir for a little bit and deal with the pectin and how to get that to help clear out. So we're going to you know, introduce something a little bit different to help that. And yeah, it's, a, it's sophomore wine making. <laughs> two, two, was it wine making 201? <laughs> <laughs> right. So what we should do um, with you saying that, since we are going to do that, could you do a, uh, could you revisit the a prep video? Maybe do a short oh, yeah. before us letting us know, like if you already have this stuff, the only other things you need to pick up is X, Y, Z. And then mm -hmm. so we can let the people know and let's aim for, let's finish this out before we start. Another one. Yes, <laughs> we'll absolutely. Get one thing at a time we, we can be doing it behind the scenes but uh we won't throw all that at you miss craft and i will we'll talk and we'll come up with a good plan structured plan let will probably get his blueberry going tomorrow that's fine we might get ours done get ours going in a week or so we'll talk offline about that and figure it out but uh yeah that's yeah. what's coming people we appreciate y'all this has been fun this, this has been fun. Thank you all so much for hanging with it. And thank you so much for your patience with me yes. in my technical difficulties. <laughs> I, I think I need to go burn some sage. <laughs> I got a little tipsy. So uh, yeah, nah, this was fun, people. Um, let's, let me pop over here in the chat, see if we got any questions. Like that video, Turf on the Lawn. Good job, brother. You talking about my video today? Appreciate it. Um, thank you. Uh, Turf, after this, you are sleeping. I sure am. Uh, Robert chugging. Chugging water. Yep. That's what I'm Yep. Doing. Get off of here. I'm a small channel, yep. Robert, but same path. That's all you need from me. If I come to your channel, you're being original, you being yourself, passionate, and hey, I'm hanging around. So I'll, I'll check you out tonight. Uh, thank you, everyone. Yeah, I'm going to check out, check out some of these channels as well. Liz giving us a round of applause. Lady Linda gave us the Thank thumbs you, up. Thank That's you, Liz. Thank you, Lady Linda. <laughs> we appreciate y'all, people. You enjoy the rest of your evening. We love you. Yes. This was great. We'll be back in two weeks, two weeks from today. So not next Sunday, but the following. And we might shift it to Saturday or Monday, depending on football. But it didn't seem to be an issue yeah. this week. So maybe we'll just ride with Sunday. You know, you can rewatch. We had a good. Yeah. People in chat was like, live. I said, we're, we're in between games, yeah, we're in between games, so they'll just miss the kickoff, <laughs> right? right, right. Miss the kickoff, yeah. Start, it was a good start time, right? Yeah, miss the kick, kickoff, all right. Well, that's it, that's all I got. I can't, this out. Yeah, I can't wait to see those FGs, FGs, <laughs> yes, need those FGs. Right, yeah, well, y'all have a good evening, we appreciate you, all right, people. And we'll see you next see time. See you on the flip side. Right. Gotta throw that in with the flip side. <laughs>